Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Last video, we took a look at the X-Tool D1 laser, see what it could do bone stock out of the box. And now we got in the Air Assist set. Now, what, what does an Air Assist do for you? Well, you add this cone piece onto the laser module and it sits down at the end. There's air coming in the side and blasting air down onto the cutting area. That does two things for you. It'll improve your cut quality. It'll keep the edges cleaner. You'll get less overburn, and it can even improve the speed and the quality of the cut through the material. Number two, by forcing air down and out that little hole in the end, it keeps debris and smoke from accumulating and getting fused to your laser lens or the protective cover on it. Uh, so it can help keep the performance faster or keep the performance up longer uh, in between maintenance cycles. So it's uh, it's it's a really good add-on. It's worth doing. So let's go ahead and get this one installed and let's do some tests, see how, how it affects the quality and the speed of the cuts with this laser. Everything that you need to install the Air Assist tool uh, is included in the package, as you can see laid out here. You do get two Air Assist cones, which is nice. You get the replacement shroud with the hole in it already and the air pump. First thing we want to do is make sure it's fully disconnected from the computer and the power supply, just for safety's sake. First thing we're going to do is prepare the pump, and uh, you, come, you have the little silicone tube that goes on there. You want to make sure that's fully seated for a good seal, and uh, you want to make sure it's pointing straight out. And then there's the adapter piece. Uh, that little blue ring allows you to clamp down on the air hose. Uh, we'll show you how that works in just a minute. So make sure that's all pointing straight and not obstructed. Uh, make sure your end has a nice clean edge on it, and then you just push it in. And if you need to swap the, the tubing out, you got to push down on that blue ring, and then that'll release it. Uh, and then just push it all the way back in, making sure it's fully seated. Next thing we want to do is remove the laser module from the gantry, and then pull our wire off. Uh, next, we got to take the original shroud off using a 1.5 millimeter wrench. Just slide that off. You'll notice that there is probably a little soot and debris in there. That's a good thing to check is to see if, make sure everything's clean beforehand. If you need to clean it, I recommend using some uh, isopropyl alcohol. And uh, I like using a Q-tip. Always do the lens first before anything else, uh, just so you're not cross-contaminating that. Uh, and then go ahead and uh, clean up any soot that's around the rest of the laser. Next, we're gonna install the bracket that supports the air hose at the top of the laser. You wanna make sure you're working on the side with the focus lever. Uh, so you need to remove the two stock screws on that side. Uh, these are a Phillips head screwdriver. So just go ahead and take those out, find your bracket, and you want the loop going towards the front so that it'll line up with the uh, where the nozzle's gonna come out. Uh, so then go ahead and use the replacement screws, slide them down in each bracket and snug them up. Next we're going to install the cone. There's three threaded holes in there. The one with the flat spot is actually where the air assist uh, adapter is going to go and the other two are for securing it to the copper ring. So go ahead and grab the two screws for that and uh, you want to just gently snug them up at first then double check your alignment. Once you're happy with the alignment you can go ahead and secure that in place. Now we can put the replacement shroud on there. You want to make sure that the, the hole lines up with that port uh, for the inlet. And then just go ahead and, and snug down these uh, set screws. You don't want to over tighten those because that can damage your shroud. Then you want to take your uh, tubing adapter and just gently thread that in. You can thread it on finger tight. If you feel it needs to be wrenched down, you can, but don't over tighten this. Make sure it's all lined up and pointing up straight. Now we can feed our tubing down straight into the adapter just like we did on the air pump. Make sure it seats firmly and is snug. And then we can go ahead and uh, reinstall the laser module onto the gantry. The air pump itself is fairly quiet as you see here. We'll switch it on. There's a slight hum. Uh, it does include some rubber feet so that if it was resting up against something you'll as you see here, hear a louder vibration hum. Uh, but uh, that just kind of keeps it from moving around, keeps the sound insulated, and as you can hear here, we've got air moving through the nozzle. 
All right, we're going to start our tests on some eighth inch Baltic birch plywood. This first run is going to be without air assist on. We'll go ahead and speed this up just to kind of get through the cut. Get a circle, a square, and a letter S just to kind of give a variety of shapes. And hopefully you may have heard there we flipped the air assist on for the second cut. So we're going to go ahead and this zip through there and we'll take a look at the results. All right, as you can see, there's a definite difference between the top where we didn't have air assist on and the bottom where it looks a lot cleaner. As a matter of fact, uh, the top part, there were a couple chunks. This is most likely due to either pockets or glue in the plywood, but uh, as you can evidently see, um, there's not as clean of a cut and not as uh, not fully cut. Now let's go ahead and try some quarter inch plywood. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna do a test cut without air assist and then with air assist, and we'll take a look at the results. All right, so you can see the first one was without air assist, the second one was with air assist, and when I lift up the piece of plywood, that first one did not cut through. You can just barely see some spots where the laser was trying to get through the plywood. So these are both at the same power and same speed, so you can see uh, definitely having air assist on can help the, the, the quality of the cuts. Uh, just to try it in some non-plywood, this is a quarter inch piece of uh, red western cedar. I uh, went ahead and did two passes, and then it looked like it may have cut through in one, so I wanted to try it in just in a single pass. And uh, here you can see the results. Go ahead and move it away. It did not, in fact, cut through on that second one, where it was just a single pass, but it was really close. Uh, so uh, you see how your mileage can vary on various different types of wood and material that you're cutting through. All right, let's go ahead and see how it affects engravings. This is just a vector engraving, so it's all solid. It's not uh, dithered or anything. Um, so we're trying this on some half inch plywood from the big box store. The first one is with air assist on, and then for the second one, we'll slide it over and we'll keep the air assist off. We'll take a look to see what the difference is at the end of the engraving. All right, so here you see on the second one without the air assist on, we did get some extra soot and overburn, so in this case, using the air assist would have benefited us greatly. All right, I hope that helps you see what the air assist mod can do on this laser. Uh, I think it was most evident on this quarter inch material. You can see how it was uh, a lot cleaner and it actually cut all the way through. Again, that was the same power settings, same speed uh, on both cuts. And so uh, definitely it's a worthwhile mod if you were doing a lot of cutting. Um, it can also po possibly help you with your engravings. Uh, so if you'd like to check it out, I've got links down below. I hope this has been informative to you. I do enjoy sharing uh, tips and tricks out of my shop. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave that down below. I try to get back to as many as I can. Uh, and uh, if you like what I'm doing out here, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, that kind of engagement just helps uh, encourage creators like myself to uh, keep doing what we're doing. So. Um, Again, hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something and we'll catch you next time.